looking back at my whole cycling life, I started out really without much confidence, too scared to try a bike race, and spent the next like 30 years working through those kinds of issues and figuring out, you know, that with hard work, you can do it. I feel like I'm at this point where now I get to just enjoy being me. My name is Mari Holden. I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I grew up in Southern California. I went to a really small school, and uh, we didn't have traditional sports, but we did have a, a cycling club. When I got on my bike and I could ride, it was being able to be lost in your own thoughts and being able to push yourself and see what you can do. Honestly, at that point, it had nothing to do with competition. It had everything to do with, like, how do I feel? And it just made me feel alive. And then that's kind of when my Olympic goals started. Making it to the Olympic Games was the high point in my career because it's something that I had wanted ever since I was a little kid. You know, I was seated seventh, I think. And when I finished my time trial, I was in the hot seat. I was winning. They kept coming in and I was like, oh my God, I'm still there. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh my God, I get to have a bronze. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm gonna have a silver. It was kind of disbelief a little bit because you're just sitting there and it seems like time has just stopped and you know, you're watching this and it doesn't seem real, especially after so many years. After winning the medal, I started having problems with my left leg and had problems with my iliac artery. And so I retired not because I, I think I wanted to, but I think I retired because I just couldn't take it anymore. It took me about seven or eight years before I decided I was ready to be involved in cycling again. All of a sudden you get back in an environment where you start realizing what you know is important and it kind of re-sparked passion in me, which I think had gotten lost. It's taken me a while to get to the point where I am understanding myself well enough to know you know, what drives me. And what drives me is when you get kids on bikes and they get freedom and the confidence that comes from being athletic and we're giving them the tools to be successful. So the biggest joy for me working with, you know, younger women is seeing them achieve something that they don't know if they could do. I think that, you know, we're kind of pioneers right now, and we're, we're out there kind of rewriting what aging looks like. And I, I think that as long as you're curious and trying new things, you keep yourself young. What I guess I would like for people to know is that they shouldn't be putting restrictions on themselves based on a number. I am really excited about the future and just this new phase that I'm going into and would never have guessed that at 50 I would feel like it's all starting over.